This is breaking news. LeBron James is going back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I told everybody this was going to happen, but no one believed me. So now people can see it for themselves. I knew it had to be that way. There's no other team that LeBron James was going to be able to be uh, was going to be able to afford to pay him. And he had to go back to Cleveland. It's just he can't go anyplace else. He had two rings with Miami. There was no way that LeBron James could go anyplace else. And I'm proud of that decision. He's got to go home. It doesn't matter what the fans, what they say or how they feel about it. He had to go home. He had to go home to 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 Cleveland and rebuild his reputation. And so people are going to uh, make fun. Again, this is going to be another big drama situation. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fans that's not going to accept him. But Cle Cleveland is his home. You know, he has the right to go home and play again. And now that owner uh, needs to apologize for what he did to LeBron James in that situation. That owner needs to apologize to him. Because he said all that bad stuff about LeBron James. Now, now look, he's got two rings. He's been to the, the finals every year since he left Cleveland. Every single year. And so I'm, I'm very proud of this move and I I hope LeBron James succeed and eventually be the, the, the uh be the best basketball player in the world. Hopefully he stopped hanging out with Jay Z and those kind of people, but you know, I hope he be the best basketball player in the world. He's way better than Kobe Bryant, he's doing very well. I won't say he's better than Jordan yet, but he's definitely better than Kobe Bryant. Because LeBron led his team by himself. Kobe can't do that. He couldn't lead the Lakers by himself. He did Gasol and certain people. And he was leading his team every year close to the finals. While he was in Cleveland all by himself. And once he had just a little bit, just a little bit of help. Kobe needed four or five people to help him while he was taking a break or whatever. LeBron would be on the floor all the time while he was in Cleveland. And... In, in, one, in one game, in one instance, LeBron James had a, um, a meltdown. He almost passed out back in 2000, I think, 8, 2007, 2009, one of those years. But this definitely is a good move. He needed to go back home. And I, I, I hope people learn from this. You know, I hope that the, the people of Cleveland learn from this. This is a good step in rebuilding because Cleveland is not doing well since LeBron James left. The whole market, everything. So he's got to go back. And this time he's going to sign a 10-year contract. A 10-year contract. And, and, and that let that be the last time he leaves them. If he leaves again, no one, no one should take him. That, that should be the end of it. If he leaves again. So he, he, he had to leave. It says when he left Cleveland, he was on a mission. Seeking championships. And he won too. But Miami already knew that feeling. Our city hasn't had that feeling in a long time, and I'm just reading from a break of news here at the bottom of the screen. And uh, he needs to bring that trophy to North, North, East Ohio. That's what it said. Uh, owner Dan Gibble, I've met with Dan face to face, man to man. We've talked it out. Everybody makes mistakes. I made mistakes as well. Who am I to hold a grudge? But that the fans call it James a coward and mocking his. Nicknames when he left. Now this is what the owner said, and they both need to make up for what they did. And let's get past this. LeBron belongs. LeBron James belongs in Cleveland. He does not belong anyplace else. He doesn't belong in Miami. He doesn't belong in Phoenix. He definitely doesn't belong in LA. He belongs in his hometown, and I'm proud to see him go back. 